Sony a6000 with a kit lens costs about $600, 300 if you can get it used. This is a Sony a6400 and with the Sony's i16-35mm to millimeter full frame lens it will cost you like $1300 making this set $2200 worth. So $300 versus $2000. Will you be able to tell a difference in the landscape photography? Come along and you'll see. So just to be clear, uh, all the settings on the cameras are going to be absolutely identical. I'm going to shoot in aperture mode uh, and I'm going to shoot in RAW format all of the pictures um, and also all the creative style, everything will be identical, ISO as well as focal length, everything for each image is going to be absolutely identical. So there shouldn't be any difference in settings. Ah, I'm confused which road to take. I think I'm gonna go here, should be fine. Actually, this is quite a nice uh, place to take picture. I'm gonna get down, have a focus on the middle of the road, have the road like one third in a the picture. There we go. Hopefully this comes out nice. Ah, oh, this is so nice to have the mountain in the background. So I'm gonna shoot the I'm going to shoot the 35 millimeters again, focusing on the mountain. Have a little bit of sky. I'm going to try to do the same thing with this camera. Yep. And just so you guys know, uh, I'm applying one of my presets for each of these pictures. So if you like the look of the edit, uh, you can go ahead uh, on my website and a bunch of them are for free. So you can go ahead and download them and see if you like them yourself. Uh, the full of flowers here not sure if you can see it in the camera though but it looks quite nice wow quite an amazing view here some boat sailing and some container ships let's capture some images 16 millimeters maybe that boat landscape with the bay and this one, little sailing boat. And this guy, mountain where we are headed. Nice. At this point, at this point I'm doubting if I'm even on the track because this thing is so narrow. So many things here. It's crazy. Hopefully I don't lose a camera or myself. Whoa, down the cliff. Whew, wow, look at the view. So I'm gonna take a couple of pictures here of what? Not really anything to take pictures of. Maybe that cliff there at 35 millimeters. Maybe like more of a silhouette or something. Maybe in post-production I'll be able to see some, some of the clouds right now seems a bit overexposed that's why I reduced the exposure compensation and uh, hopefully I'll be able to retrieve that sky because from here it looks you know a bit getting a bit dramatic some clouds coming in so maybe 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 we'll have an option to retrieve the sky and make the picture a bit nicer this is almost impossible to go through no what is this I'm sorry camera, I'm sorry my backpack, I'm sorry my clothes, everything is being scratched right now, just to get through this ay, very harsh jungle, Jesus, Whew. I hope for a good view, please have a good view, oh damn, okay, that's worth the climb. Look at the water down. Look at that beach. Isn't this nice? And an awesome sailing boat and a ferry 
our container ship but that water down here let's try to take some pictures all the way out 16 millimeters just a nice rugged coastline should be good and that's where we came from that's where the car is on that road not sure if you can see so far but long way to go a long way back let's go wow there's some amazing caves the blue water and the rugged coastline zoomed in to 35 36 close enough focus there one here and zoomed out at 16 millimeters so beautiful the cows in a field i'm gonna try to catch them on the field maybe better to zoom in to 35 millimeters let's try to catch them with the mountain in the background should uh, should make for a good photo if it would be a little bit more cloudy would be nicer then it wouldn't be so exposed but we work with what we have wow look at this oh that coast also looks amazing wow okay this has to be one of the best photos so far and also a really cool view on the other side this is a magical view you gotta see this beautiful view down there Wow, look at these branches. Whew, they will look so nice on the background of the blue water. Wow, looks so nice. All dead. So, I just saw how nice the cliffs look on the way from where I just came from. So, without dying, I'll try to capture these cliffs right here. Let's see if we manage 16 millimeters. I saw as low as possible. Focus here. Yeah, something like that. Actually, I'll also shoot landscape because I want to include a little bit more of the cliff. Perfect. Look at all the mess here. Oof. Let's try to capture that uh, tractor. Better at 35 millimeters and probably we'll need the cropping. One vertical. Perfect. So much work happening here. But our road goes ahead. I really love these trees. I mean, it looks, it's, it's a pine tree, but the way it's shaped, it looks like it's uh, like one of those in, in safari or something just point and shoot we should be good nice one safari vibes so i just came closer and actually it looks pretty nice with the 16 millimeters if i'm getting down low and i don't see anything in the screen so this is completely blind and looks good oh we must stop here look at these plants i think they're gonna look very nice zoomed out all the way and maybe i'm gonna get closer and have them in like foreground i will filter out and see if it's good or not and one thing sometimes turn around and see what's behind you maybe the shot is better uh the other way around like here with these lines for example that i'm almost falling in sometimes it can make some leading lines so don't, don't just always walk forward I love to take the pictures of roads and different paths and this is no 
exception i don't know why they just look so good in the pictures i'm gonna focus on the rock and sometime a bit further i just i don't know they just look good in pictures don't they and here's another road and it looks amazing i just like how all the lines lead towards that tree in the end which you probably can't see but it's awesome I think it doesn't work too well because the background is a bit too noisy if it would be like up on a hill uh, it would be a bit better and right around the corner we have this road should be good photo as well if i maybe come here so I have the tree in the picture a bit but should be good and by the way that is the mountain where we were just where. Well, that's it, guys. My five hour hike is over. And uh, yeah, let me know if you predicted that one picture will be better than the other cameras. And uh, thanks for joining. Have a good day. Bye.